वेलकम बैक टू न्यू कॉन्टेंट क्लासेस माय सेल्फ संजय कुमार केमिस्ट्री एक्सपर्ट टुडे आई ब्रिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज नॉन इज अलिगेटिव प्रॉपर्टीज एंड ऑल्सो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ मोरल मास एंड आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू दैट देर आर फोर कॉलिगेटिव प्रॉपर्टीज नंबर वन कॉलिगेटिव प्रॉपर्टीज एलिवेशन इन लोअरिंग रिलेटिव लोअरिंग इन पेपर प्रेशर इट इज़ हैपनिंग ड्यू टू द वेन एवर वी एड सम नॉन वोल्टाइल सबस्टेंस नॉन वोल्टाइल सॉलिट इन अ प्योर सॉलवेंट सो सिंपली वी कैन सी दैट द वेपर प्रेशर ऑफ अ प्योर सॉलवेंट इज मोर कंपेरिजन टू द सॉल्यूशन विच कंटेन नॉन वोल्टाइल सॉलिट ऑफ अ सॉल्यूशन सो सिंपली वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट दैट टॉपिक दैट इज नॉन जैट रिलेटिव लोअरिंग एंड वेपर प्रेशर Now we have to move on second one colligative property. That second one colligative property is called a elevation in boiling point temperature. Elevation, E L E V E. Elevation in boiling boiling point temperature. Let me tell you what is the definition of boiling temperature. We know that if we take some amount of water, simply we have to consider water. We uh, provide some energy to water. A uh, water started a uh, boiling when atmospheric pressure is equal to the surface of the uh, upper surface of the water. In simple way. the temperature at which water start boiling the temperature is called a boiling temperature simply we can see that if we consider the pressure at uh, i think uh, one atmospheric pressure or we simply see that the external pressure external pressure is uh, one atmosphere the boiling point temperature of a liquid is called a normal boiling point temperature if we add that a pure uh, water if we add that pure water this is the water and add some nacl suppose you know that nacl is non volatile non volatile okay this is the volatile okay so the vapor pressure vapor pressure Vapor pressure of H two is greater than the solution which is produced. Solution which contain non volatile substance or a solid. So simply we can see that if we provide, if we want to that that solution whatever we have made by the help of the mixing of the non volatile substance in a sol uh, in a water. we have to provide more energy it means that boiling point for boiling point the temperature should uh, increase so simply if we see that the difference between the boiling point of solvent as well as boiling point of a solution is different so that difference may be written like this delta tv Elevation in boiling point equal to T V minus tem uh, minus T V not. It means that this one T V not is a boiling point of a pure solvent, while this one is a boiling point of a mixture or a solution which contain pure water as well as some amount of non volatile. solid like a silver like a sodium chloride if we elaborate this formula like this delta t is directly proportional to m okay delta t is directly proportional to the m it mean that the vapor pressure vapor pressure is proportional to the molarity molarity means 1 kg 
solving we have to mix in a, a solution in a solvent that is why okay so the solution the solution is 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 in which one mole of a solid is dissolved so elevation so simply we can say that delta t is is a elevation in boiling point okay it may be defined as this one may be defined as elevation in boiling point temperature for one molar solution means for only one molar solution the solvent is in a one program the solution in which one mole of solid dissolve dissolve in one program of solvent so this is the correlation between the solute and solvent now first of all rough and then i want to drive this equation this is very important so simply we can say that elevation in boiling water molar elevation constant molar elevation constant delta t v delta t v molar molar elevation molar elevation constant molar elevation constant elevation constant how we understand molar elevation constant delta tv delta t equal kv and m this is the product of a molar elevation constant and molarity this is the molarity and this is the molar elevation constant okay if we take one molar solution then delta t v will be a kv so this is a uh, simply we can say that molar elevation constant so elevation in boiling point let me write elevation in boiling point boiling point temperature for for one one molar solution that is that is the solution the solution in which in which one mole of solid one mole of solute dissolve dissolve in dissolved in dissolved in one program of solvent one program of solvent this is the actual definition of molar elevation constant which is represented by kv that is very important if we derive for the derive the formula for the determination of molar mass the formula will be like this see on the board if we take the example of delta tv is equal to k into x v and another and if we put the value of x v okay then delta t v delta t v will be will be k v into n v upon n a plus n v everyone know that what is the me uh, meaning of n v n v is number of mole of b component and n a r n a is number of moles of b component 
and four is more fraction in reference to component B. So the formula will be <coughs> delta T V equal K V into M A means smaller mass of A component and B upon mass in gram of A component. Understand? Okay. Now the there is a one formula for K B or molar holding constant equal to capital M capital R T B not square upon one thousand upon delta x vaporization means enthalpy of vaporization. Okay, so in that way, this formula is helpful for one kg. If you want to uh, write down this formula for hundred gram. The, that formula will be T V naught square upon one thousand into delta X or enthalpy of vaporization. So it was the uh, both formula delta T V equal in reference to the molar mass and uh, uh, gram in gram of a substance in a gram of a, a gram of a substance of a component okay so the simply we can see that the final formula for determination of molar mass of solid will be mb equal kb into wb upon delta tv multiply wa okay this is the final formula for molar mass of a solid understand so this formula is comes from this one formula these both formula are relate to each other understand that so this formula will helpful this formula will helpful to determining the molar mass of the component to be and we know that all uh, we know that for this derivation we use non volatile solid and uh, solution in solution the vapor pressure is lesser than uh, lesser than a solvent and also due to the mixing of non volatile solid to the solvent the boiling point also increases understand that and this whole solid normally uh, normally in solution and behave as a ideal solution and this solution also follow the Raoult's law. Now we have to move on another corrugated property. This is the third one corrugated property, which is very important. Same example we have to take. Like we have to take a water and we start, uh, we take some amount of water and put in a refrigerator. That water convert into ice after some time. After Sometime. Hmm. So depression in freezing point. In freezing. Freezing point. Depression. Depression means lowering. So this kind of uh, property has very important technical word that is known as cryoscopy. C R Y O C R Y O S C O P Y. Cryoscopy. Cryoscopy. Hmm. So cryoscopy. First of all, let the take one example of water. So, freezing point of a liquid means the temperature at which any liquid start freezing. This freezing for water, freezing point for water is 0 degree Celsius, 
it means that if we have 500 ml water whenever the whole of water convert into ice till till conversion of ice the temperature does not change so that is enthalpy that is a latent enthalpy latent heat of 